Today's video is on integration using residues. So we have to determine the poles and the residues of the given function f of z is equal to z squared by z minus 1 squared into z plus 2. See here, the function here given as f of z is equal to, this is z squared by z minus 1 squared into this is z plus 2. In order to find the poles of the given function, we have to equate the denominator to 0. So here, z minus 1 square into z plus 2 is equal to 0. First of all, if I equate z minus 1 square to 0, so we'll be getting z is equal to 1 is a pole of order 2, is a pole of order 2. And next one, if I equate z plus 2 to 0, so z value is equal to minus 2, which is a simple pole. So this is a simple pole. So first pole is nothing but z is equal to 1, which is of order 2. And next pole is nothing but z is equal to minus 2, which is of order, sorry, it, which is a simple pole. So after finding the poles of the given function, we have to find the residues for the corresponding poles. So first for residues, so residue of the function at point z is equal to 1 is nothing but the formula is 1 by m minus 1 factorial into limit z tends to z naught. This is d by dz power m minus 1 into this is z minus z naught power m into f of z. f of z. See here in this the substitution here will be m value is nothing but the order. So, m is equal to 2 and z0 value is nothing but the pole value here 1. So, the function value is already there here and therefore, for the residue value of f of z, residue of f of z at point z is equal to 1 is nothing but m value is nothing but 2. This is 2 minus 1 factorial into limit z tends to z0 value is 1. This is d by dz power m minus 1 so that is 2 minus 1 into this is z minus z naught value is 1 and again power m is nothing but 2 into f of z so what is our f of z value so f of z is nothing but z square by see here this is z square by z minus 1 square into this is z plus 2 clear so I have substituted f of z value so after substituting f of z value I can cancel z minus 1 square from the numerator as well as denominator and this will be 2 minus 1 is nothing but 1 factorial is nothing but 1 and here limit z tends to 1 this is d by dz times of z square by this value is z plus 2. So I have to make a derivative for one time and again I have to substitute z is equal to 1. So derivative which is of the form u by v rule. For u by v the derivative is nothing but v square v u dash minus u v dash. For v we have to make square. Again we have to leave v. We have to make derivative for u. We have to leave u and again we have to make derivative for v. So if I make a derivative for this see what happens here. So this will be limit z tends to 1 this is v square that is z plus 2 whole square and again I am writing v that is z plus 2 and I am making a derivative for z square as 2z and I am leaving u and for z this is 1. So now I have to substitute z value as 1. So this is 1 plus 2 into this is 2 1 so 2 minus z square value is 1 by z is equal to 1 that is 1 plus 2 whole square. So 3 2 is a 6 minus 1 by 3 square 9 so we got the residue of see here residue of f of z at point z is equal to 1 as this is 5 by 9 so this is how we have to solve so we got the residue value of f of z at point z is equal to 1 is 5 by 9 so this is the residue value and the next thing here is we have to find the residue at the pole value z is equal to minus 2. As it is a simple pole, so the formula is also very, very simple. See here, residue of, so this is residue of f of z at point z is equal to, this is minus 2 is nothing but limit z tends to z naught 
this is z minus z naught into this is f of z so here our z naught value the pole value is nothing but minus 2 so if i substitute the same thing so this will be limit limit z tends to minus 2 this is minus of minus plus 2 into f of z so what is the f of z value f of z value is nothing but see here this is z square into this is z minus 1 square into this is z plus 2. So if I cancel z plus 2 in the numerator as well as denominator and substitute z value as minus 2. This will be minus 2 and this is minus 2 minus 1 square. So minus 2 square is nothing but 4 minus 3 square is nothing but 9. So this is the residue value of f of z at point z is equal to minus 2. So this is how we have to solve. So we have to find out the poles and again we have to find the corresponding residue values for order 2 this is the formula and for order simple pole so that will be the formula see first of all the function f of z is given as z square by z minus 1 square into z plus 2 so in order to find the poles i have equated the denominator to 0 i got z is equal to 1 is a pole of order 2 and z is equal to minus 2 which is a simple pole so again we have to find the residue values for the corresponding poles for z is equal to 1 so this is the formula in this formula if i keep the order value m is equal to 2 and the pole value z naught as 1 and substitute i have to make a derivative for one time so this is the formula and after substituting and again we have to uh, substitute z value as 1 and 5 by 9 is the residue value for the corresponding pole z is equal to 1 and the next pole value here is z is equal to minus 2 for z is equal to minus 2 which is a simple pole the formula is also so simple so i have to cancel z plus 2 in the numerator as well as denominator and i have to substitute z is equal to minus 2 in the rest of the function and 4 by 9 is the residue value please go through all these videos definitely you will get confidence and definitely you can score more if you really like pass it on to your friends subscribe to this channel and thank you so much for staying till the end